What's up everyone? My name is Liz and welcome to another video of my YouTube channel. Today I had kind of a good idea. Well, most of you guys don't know me, so I thought why not do a little Q&A. On my Instagram, I posted a story where I asked you guys to ask me a question and I would answer them on the video. <laughs> so I ended up getting quite a few questions, by the way. Great job. So let's get started. Okay, first question is, what are your favorite places in San Diego for photo shoots? For those of you that follow me on Instagram actually know that I am a model. In San Diego, I haven't really done many photo shoots. It's mostly in LA, but I know some pretty good places here in San Diego that are really, really good for photo shoots. Like there's places like Balboa Park, there's places like Point Loma, there's places like La Jolla, Torrey Pines. There's this place, I'm not sure what it's called, but there's a suspension bridge that drops to just a bunch of trees and it does for a really good aesthetic. So that was question number one and now let's move on to number two. Uh, question number two is how is the acting career going? So I, as some of you guys already know, I am an actress. To answer this question, not very good. It's a difficult thing to get roles. It's really difficult to say, to, to be told yes to. I have been auditioning a lot but most of the parts I don't get it. I did however film a, a pilot episode for a, a series on YouTube so I will be including a link for that in the description down below and in the tag right here for you guys to see it. Be supportive guys, I'm just starting. <laughs> okay, question number three. What is your favorite book series? Okay, so those of you that know me very well know that I love books. I read books so much. My goal in life is to have my very own library in my own house. It smells so good. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it smells really good. It's the mahogany apple candle. <laughs> so, yeah. And my favorite series, like overall, obviously it's never gonna change. It is the Darkest Power series. The first book of it is called The Seminary. It's by Kelly Armstrong. I recommend to read this book. It is amazing. It has six books in the entire series. Well, there's two trilogies and it's really good. It's about a girl that can see ghosts. So, you guys should really read it. I highly recommend this book and I will include a link down in the description below for you guys to read. Uh, question number four. How tall are you? I am 5'4". I'm lying. I'm 5'3 and a half. But I, I round up. <laughs> I'm 5'4". Five, I'm five, okay. Number five, question number five. What was the last book you read? Okay, so I am currently reading this one. It's called Beyonders by Brandon Mole. And it's a really good book. It's about adventure and magic, kingdoms, evil lord. Yeah, all of that stuff. It's really good. I currently started it, so I don't know if that counts as the last book that I read. So I am gonna tell you guys the last book that I finished reading. So this one is called Fallen by Lauren Kate and this one is about a girl that falls in love with someone but there is a really good twist at the end so I suggest that you guys read it. I will include a link to all of these books down below. Okay, question number six. What is your dream car? Tesla. Model S. One day I'm gonna get that and I mean it. And I will show you guys and you guys will be there to see it. Okay, number seven. Uh, do you like the sunny days or rainy days more? Rainy days are my shit. I don't hate sunny days. I like sunny days, but if they're cold. Like, I like the cold and the rain. That's why I prefer the winter and not the summer. Question number eight. Do you like scary movies? I am obsessed with scary movies. Scary movies are a necessity. I have a bunch of scary movies in my house, and we, we like to watch only scary movies. Maybe that's partly why we're haunted. Who knows? Question number nine. What three songs will always be found at the top of the playlist? Okay, so here's where I come out to tell you guys that I don't really listen to like mainstream songs. I'm more of a hard rock kind of girl, like heavy metal kind of girl. <laughs> Most of my friends know that I like heavy metal. My family knows that I like heavy metal, but they don't listen to it. Only one person listens to heavy metal with me. So I'm gonna just like include a link down below to all of the songs for you guys to listen to so you can get to know me a little better and what kind of music I like. Please do not hate me for it because yeah but okay so the very first one that you're gonna find at, at the top of my playlist is Virus by Memphis Mayfire. I love that song. I don't know it's just there's something about it that makes you feel 
great. I don't know. The second one would be Melodramatic by Bless the Fall. And then Set It Off. Any song by Set It Off, honestly. Because they are amazing. My playlist will consist of mostly rock and heavy metal. Yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> Alright, question 10. Many people read electronic books. Do you think that it takes away from the experience? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Read regular books, people. Read books. I know, I know. Go pay for less, but oh my god. Like, books in and of itself, just the actual essence of turning the page is what makes it great, honestly. So, yeah, I think that reading an actual book versus an ebook is, there's no comparing it, honestly. The book always is gonna beat the electronic book for me. To be honest, to me, it, that's what it does. Okay, uh, question number 11. What would you do with an extra hour in a day? Sleep. Like everybody else, I'm pretty sure. Question number 12. Use one word to describe your confidence level. Average. My confidence level is average. Question number 13. Have you ever been somewhere you thought was haunted? If so, where? Uh, I actually used to live in a house that was haunted and it was insane. I could tell you guys my sister's story, my brother's story, my mom's story. Like my entire family went through some crazy stuff there. So there's just too much to elaborate into that simple thing. But yeah, I used to live in a house for like eight years that was haunted. So I have a lot to talk about that. So I might make a video on that. I don't know, you guys should let me know. So if you guys want to hear the story of how my family lived in that house that was haunted for around eight to nine years, we lived in that house for eight to nine years. So if you guys want to hear that story, uh, hit the thumbs up and I will make sure to tell that story. I will give you guys a story time video. Okay, question number 14. Do you think Valentine's Day is a romantic? Is romantic or just too commercial? I think that Valentine's Day is completely commercial. I think there was some. I, I heard it somewhere where it was created by by industry so that they could sell candies, teddy bears, and all of that stuff. That, that's what they, that's what I heard. So I actually kind of believe it because I mean, come on, it's not that big of a deal, and yet people buy a bunch of stuff. It's like one of the biggest days of the year too for sales. So I think it is completely commercial, no doubt. Okay, here's a question. Question number 15. What is or was the best thing about being single? Some of you already know this on Instagram, but I am completely single. I feel like it is a good thing. I enjoy myself a lot more. I enjoy being alone. It's not a problem for me. So yeah. Who cares about having a boyfriend, right? Question number 16. If you have to be handcuffed to someone for 24 hours, who would it be? Video coming up, guys. It's going to be with my best friend. Handcuffed to my best friend for 24 hours. Question number 17. What's the best costume you've ever worn? The best costume I have ever worn is Lara Croft. I went as Lara Croft one Halloween. I think it was two Halloween. Okay, so I went as a skeleton for two Halloweens, and then for one Halloween it was Lara Croft. And I think the my favorite one was Lara Croft, but those are my two favorites: the skeleton and the Lara Croft one. Question number eighteen: What do you think is more likely, Dracula or a werewolf? Dracula, I think honestly, because. I don't think a person would be able to withstand the change and the pain that it would take to change into a werewolf, but a person can drink blood, so I think that Dracula is more likely to be real than a werewolf. Do you talk to yourself? I don't know. Maybe? I'm lying. I do. Yes, I do. Have you ever been admitted to the hospital? I even stopped counting. What number am I in? <laughs> 19, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 19. Okay, so question number 19 was do you talk to yourself? Okay, question number 20. What is the most serious issue facing the planet right now? I would say issue number one, biggest issue is global warming. And then issue number two, right now at this current moment, it is the coronavirus, which is the virus that is spreading all throughout the world that is probably gonna kill us all with the pandemic. So yeah, was that question number 20? Question number 21, have you ever been admitted to the hospital. Yes, actually, it's kind of a funny story. I was not just admitted by myself, I was admitted with my sister and my mom, too. We were in Mexico and we ate some food that really was really bad for us, and we ended up getting food poisoning, but it was so bad, like, that we couldn't even hold in water. We were, like, throwing it all up all over the place. And it was kind of very gross, but at the same time, we couldn't even hold anything in. So we were extremely high dehydrated and we were extremely sick. So we had to be admitted to the hospital because it was, it was getting worse for us. All right, 
Question number 22. Do you think there will ever be a cure for cancer? Conspiracy theory. I say conspiracy theory. There is already a cure for cancer, but the government does not want to let it out because the long treatment is bringing a lot of money in. So conspiracy theory, government is hiding it. Question number 23. Do you like to plan things out in detail or be spontaneous? I like to be spontaneous. I love like just deciding with my friends, hey, we should go up to LA or we should like do a trip or do something random. I love that. Absolutely love it. Uh, planning things out is okay. It's totally fine. I mean, people plan things out all the time. I plan things out all the time. But being spontaneous makes life just a little bit more fun. Question number 24. What is your secret obsession? Korean dramas. Thanks, Netflix. Thanks a lot. So that was all the questions that I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like if you guys want to hear a story time about my haunted childhood home. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite book is. And if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!